Hey guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my online class essentials. So, as you all know, it's August again and we're going to go back to school again soon. Medyo nakakasad kasi ayaw ko pumasa. Pero, um, I just want to share with you some essentials of mine. Um, these essentials really helped me to get through the online classes last school year. So, I hope it will also help you survive this school year. So, let's get started na agad. So, the first essential is, of course, since it's online classes, of course, we have to use some gadgets. And the gadgets I use are my laptop and my iPad. It's not necessarily na you need both, but these are what I use. So, my laptop is a MacBook Air 2020. I use this for attending my synchronous classes. Ito yung ginagamit ko talaga umattend ng classes kasi mas convenient siya. And at the same time, dito ko ginagawa yung mga task. Kunyari, um, mga assignments like yung mga gagawa ng essay kasi tinatype. So, mas convenient din siya gawin sa laptop instead of sa iPad. And then, at the same time, dito rin ako nagawa ng mga group works kasi nga Usually, mga group works is done through Google Docs. So, ito yung ginagamit ko since puro typing nga yun. Mas madali mag-copy-paste and all of that. Basta mas madali gamitin yung laptop pag Google Docs yung gamit. Tsaka Microsoft Word. Mas prefer ko yung laptop. And at the same time, ito rin yung gadget na gamit ko. If ever nag -e edit ako, like example, sa Canva, yung laptop, mas madali siya gamitin kasi mas maraming mga options. And at the same time, video editing then kasi nga I use Final Cut Pro for editing videos for school and at the same time si YouTube channel ko na rin pero for school I also use Final Cut Pro because it really has a lot of options like yung mga color correcting yung mga pagsama-sama ng maraming videos sa isang frame I do it all using Final Cut Pro and then next is I use my iPad naman for taking down notes. It's more convenient whenever I want to write something lang. And ito yung mga nagpapanahom, nagno-notes pa ako. Mas madali mag-highlight if sa iPad. Kasi diba may mga bagay na hindi natin gusto type pero gusto natin i-take down notes. So, sinusulat ko lang siya kasi madali i-connect-connect. And it really helped na meron akong Apple Pencil noon kaso nasira na siya. Pero ayun, it really helped me a lot. But I don't think it's necessary naman. You can still use your hands. It's, it works, guys. So, ayun. And then, ginagamit ko rin yung iPad naman for meetings and bring brainstorming with classmates. Mga group work din, pero ito yung pang call ko, kumbaga. Kasi it's easier to send files to Messenger or Discord. And at the same time, gusto ko yung iPad kasi nakoconnect ko sa kanya yung earphones ko na may cord. We'll get there later. So, ayun, explain ko mamaya. Next is, ayun na nga, yung earphones. Um, I honestly prefer yung may cord, lalo na kapag nakakall kayo. Kasi sobrang bilis malowbat ng AirPods pag nakakall. So, ayun, Though, hindi kasi compatible sa laptop ko yung earphones na meron ako. So, wala akong choice na mag-airpods if laptop yung gamit. And, ayun nga, like, what I've said earlier, whenever you're like on Zoom, Gmeet, Discord, or even Messenger call, sobrang bilis malobat ng AirPods. I don't know if it's just me, kasi luma na yung AirPods ko. Pero ayun, that's what I've experienced. Next is a laptop stand. Um, I got this laptop stand from Shopee naman, which made my life so much better, so much easier. Kasi whenever I use this, the laptop is elevated, so it really helps with my posture. Hindi siya sobrang sakit sa likod kasi nakapantay na yung laptop sa'yo. Hindi mo na kailangan mag... mag... Ano tawag dito? Kasi gumanon. <laughs> Hindi mo na kailangan gumanon. So, mas madali gamitin yung laptop whenever you have a stand kasi kaganyan ka lang. Next is, it really helped me naman also to have a keyboard. Ito naman for my iPad kasi it's easier to type sa iPad if you have a keyboard. Ewan ko, ako personally, medyo nahihirapan ako mag-type doon sa iPad mismo. So, mas prefer ko na merong keyboard. Nabili ko lang rin to sa Shopee and it really helped. Hindi naman siya yung naglolo ko masyado. Next is a ring light and a tripod. Ito, I don't think it's super duper necessary but it's highly recommended kasi it's for the better quality of your video pro 
kasi I don't know, is kami lang ba? Pero sobrang dami namin video na projects tsaka mga picture-picture. So, ayun. And the ring light really helped a lot with me kasi I can shoot any time of the day. Parang I remember nga yung kolok yung video namin. Nag-video kami mga 11 or 12 na ata ng gabi. So, ayun. It really helped naman para at least maganda pa rin yung itsura natin sa video. Siyempre, if wala masyadong sense yung sinasabi natin sa video, kailangan maaura tayo. We can perform the forms na lang. So, ayun. Mas okay if may sitsura natin sa video, di ba? Para mukhang kapanipaniwala pa din. <laughs> Next is table and chair. Like, um, I think this is also really very necessary kasi I really wanted to have a workspace wherein I can feel productive. So, whenever nandito na ako sa table at chair ko, kailangan gagawa na ako ng homework or ng PT kasi, ewan ko, parang may magic. <laughs> May magic yung workplace ko na kunyari nakahiga ako sa kama. Pero once na umupo na ako dito, parang okay, kailangan ko na maging productive. So, ayun. Feeling ko, it really helped me rin na makagawa ng mga assignment ng mas mabilis at makapagpasa agad. So, ayun. Next is a pencil, ball pen, eraser, and correction tape. So, ayun. Pinagsama-sama ko na. Um, it's not really needed every day with my experience kasi nga, um, usually like do our performance tasks or written works na virtual na yung mga online na. Pero meron kasing mga teachers pa rin na nagpe-prefer na kunyari mga solution gusto nila nakasulat sa yellow pad or sa bond paper. So, ayun. Ito yung mga brand ng pencil and ball pen na nagamit ko talaga and maayos yung quality niya. So, sa pencil, I use a mechanical pencil. It's either yung Faber-Castell, Faber-Castell, or yung sa Muji. Um, yung tip na gamit ko is, ayun, 0.5mm yung sa Muji. Yung Faber-Castell, hindi ko na makita do. Pero, ayun, maganda siya. Maganda yung quality niya. And what I like about mechanical pencils is you no longer have to, like, sharpen whenever naputol. So, mas madaling mag-refill kaysa mag-sharpen. And medyo makalit kasi yung pag sharpen ng pencil, di ba? So, ayun, mas prefer ko talaga na gumamit na lang ng mechanical pencil. Next is ball pen. Ito yung mga ball pen na ginagamit ko. I really like this pens kasi umayos yung sulat ko. Like, hindi talaga ako mag maganda magsulat, guys. Sobrang pangit ng sulat ko. Pero pag ito yung gamit ko mga ball pen, umayos naman ang slight yung sulat ko. So, ayun. <laughs> ito yung mga ginagamit kong ball pen. It's also from Muji and and the other one is from Pilot. It's the micro ball, 0.7. And yung Samuji is 0.5. Next is correction tape. Super favorite ko talaga tong correction tape. Oh my gosh. Hindi ko makita kayo. Pero super favorite ko talaga yung correction tape na to. Ever since junior high or grade 6 pa na ata ko, ito na yung gamit ko talagang brand ng correction tape. Kasi, hindi siya yung katulad ng ibang correction tape na nasa stock or hindi agad nag linya. And hindi siya agad nagsa-stock or hindi siya sobrang dulas. Um, sakto lang talaga siya. So, ito yung pinaka-bet kong correction tape ever since talaga. And then, lastly, eraser. Kasi, um, super tagal ko na rin ginagamit tong eraser na to. I really like this brand kasi na-erase niya talaga lahat. Like, kahit yung mga color pencil, na-erase niya ng buo. Hindi siya yung eraser na alam niyo yung parang may marks pa. Ito ay wala talaga. Unless super diin ang sulat. Pero, if yung mga light lang naman, na-erase niya talaga lahat. Next is coloring materials. If you like um, a health allied student like me, medyo madami kayong kinukulayan. Especially, nung grade 12 kami sa Anafi, yung coloring workbook namin doon, ayun, super dami. Like, coloring workbook nga, diba? So, ayan, ang dami namin kinukolor doon. Yung mga parts ng katawan, ng bones, mga ganon. And then, I'm an incoming um, medtech student kasi and I also heard na marami din daw mga drawing-drawing like mga specimen, mga ganon. So, it's really needed if you're like a health allied student. I'm not really sure like with different strands or different courses pero sa amin, kinailangan namin talaga siya. Next is candy tsaka lola remedios. 
Tawa-tawa ako dun sa comment ng isa kong kaklase kasi sabi niya, alagang Lola Remedies daw ako. Pero, surely true kasi usually kapag inaantok na ako or ano, wala na ako sa sarili, pampagising ko talaga yung candy, paypakwa, or kahit anong candy. Basta paypakwa ako, tsaka Lola Remedios. Kasi masakitin rin kasi yung lalamunan ko, like lagi ko nababanggit. Lagi nasakit yung lalamunan ko, hindi ko alam talaga bakit. Sobrang sensitive niya. So, ayun, I really do suggest na meron kayong candy na panlaban ng antok nyo, lalo na dito sa bahay. Pwede, pwede tayo matulog, di ba? So, ayun, candy talaga, tsaka Lola Remedios kung bet nyo naman. Ang sarap talaga ng Lola Remedios, like swear guys, you have to try it. If you're not, you're missing half of your life. Just, so, ayun, try nyo, Lola Remedios baka naman. <laughs> And then next is, ito mga ano lang naman na to, water, of course, kasi sobrang init, lalo na pag umaga, di ba? And ayun, we wanna make sure na we're hydrated, syempre. So, stay hydrated, everyone. And then lastly, kailangan talaga, ito pinakakailangan natin. No joke, ito yung pinakailangan. Patience. <laughs> Pasensya talaga, guys, kasi... Kailangan mo ng sobrang daming pasensya. Like, ipunin na ulit natin siya ngayon habang bakasyon. Kasi sobrang nakaka-stress talaga ng online class. And minsan ayaw mo na talaga, di ba? Pero, ayun, laban, guys. Let's go. Kaya natin to. Kakayanin natin. So, yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope these essentials of mine and some tips will help you with the coming school year. So, I wish you all guys the best of luck. I know it's not easy, but yeah, let's try our best and let's do this. If ever you have questions, just comment it down below and I'll try to answer them. So, thank you, thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you want to see more of me, please hit the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell beside it to get notified every time I upload a new video. So, thank you so much guys for watching. This is Mikey saying, don't let your dreams just be dreams, make them come true. Bye!